Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. I'm very happy to be here this afternoon to do this conference in Puebla, and I'm very happy to be with you. First of all, a few words about me and the company. And uh, please apologize for my English, it's not very good. My name is Francois Delarosière, an artistic director of a company, La Machine. The company has two workshops. The first near Toulouse in the south of France, and the second one in the art of Nantes in the northwest of France. They are about 40 of us working in the two workshops. The work that we develop in public space is mainly about theaters, urban planning, and architecture. We also provide services for other companies. The main area of research that we are now developing focuses on movement and its expression in public space. We try to imagine the cities of tomorrow. By way of intro introduction, I would like to tell you a little story. About 30 years ago, a group of friends and myself were sitting around a table to brainstorm the construction of a machine. On the table was a Weinschild whopper connected to his motor. The motor was connected to a battery, and one of us activated the switch. Everything was set in motion, moving like a dance. It was a revelation for me. When the same person switched to the fast speed, the machine became a cord, almost aggressive and uncontrollable, projecting pens, folders, and cups of coffee around the table. I conclude that a machine, thanks to its own movement, can have its own expression and provoke emotion in us. So we have the impression that it is alive. So that we have the same image in mind, I would like to illustrate my point of view with a short video. But before that, I will say a few words about the design of the material we use and how we assemble them. This is what I consider makes our approach unique. We don't seek an exact reproduction or likeness. We search for inspiration mainly in nature. Its rhythms, its movements, its complex structure, its tensions. We think that nothing that man has ever built can compare to living creature. From the first sketch to the finishing touches, a considerable number of stages and structure determine the outcome. The design is only the starting point of the creative process, a kind of foundation stone that will guide the builder of the machine through each stage of its construction. At each stage, the artistic appreciation and technical expertise of the builders come into play. Their sensitive intervention modify and enrich the final result. We have, in fact, created a new order in the biological sense, the order of living machines. Of course, all these machines serve no practical purpose at all. They have function that cause emotion and make you dream. The film you are going to see about the uh, last four minutes it shows the relationships between an architectural movement, here the giant spider, and a city. You can see how public space, street, square, facade of building can be transformed into a giant backdrop where all the city become a stage. It shows how those actions transform the way people see 
and feel in their own city. One September morning, when Liverpool was European capital of culture, the city wake up with a giant mechanical spider climbing up a building opposite the train station. Seven months later, two identical specimens arrived in the port of Yokohama for the commemoration of the 150th anniversary of the opening of Japan to foreign trade. The spider is 13, 13 meters high, 20 meters in diameter, and weight 38 tons. It's handled by 15 operators. Then you can see the, this little film, because I talk about uh, movement. You can put the film. And put down the line, please.
city and uh, we invite the spider to disappear uh, uh, down a tunnel in a tunnel down Liverpool and the spider disappears in, in smoke and in the mind of uh, people of Liverpool the spider live under the city we we have just thank you we have just We have just finished building a slow-moving airborne machine. We call this machine uh, the plant expedition. It travels across the globe, carrying on board collection of rare plants and mobile organic vegetable garden to feed the 11 members of the crew. The craft lands at night on a downtown square, unloads its cargo and carries out exchange and experience in the urban environment over a period of four days. Its goal is to study biodiversity. The team of researchers has managed to capture and store the electrical energy transported by the plants, providing enough energy to make the device completely autonomous in its movement. The theatrical experience <laughs> takes place, thank you, on the ground with the researchers exchanging with passerby. The company develops research works designed to support urban projects. An example is the Machine de Lille project. And co-created with Pierre Orifis, a friend of me. The project ambition is to accompany the urban development of the island of Nantes, an area located in the heart of the city. Our goal is to increase the appeal of Nantes by enriching the cultural and touristic attractions. We want to make the city of tomorrow a place to live in, a mating place, a place of enchantment. The first part of the project dates from 2007 with opening to the public of our workshops and the gallery of machines and a prototype branch of the Aaron trees and the giant elephant. The elephant measures 12 meters high, weighs 47 tons and can transport 50 people at a time. Its first journey took place in June 2007 in front of 15,000 spectators. The second part of the project starts in July 2012 with the Marine World Carousel. The building measures 20 meters in diameter and 24 meters in height. It will be dedicated to the marine world. The carousel will be on several levels. At the lowest, lowest level, the engine room, then the enter water world, and at the each level, different marine creations. The sea surface, at the top, the sea surface with a floating or flying element, such as the storm boat. The carousel will be able to carry 300 people at a time. Finally, I would like to present you the Aaron trees, architecture in movement that hopefully will see the light of day in 2018. It will be probably the, the most spectacular element of the island machine project. The Aaron trees will be 35 meters high and 50 meters in diameter, weighing over 1.1 tons and with a capacity of about 1,400 people. Is it rushed by a double spiral staircase located inside the trunk, giving access to the different level of branch? You will be able to visit the structure itself, but also to a rather special hanging garden. The plants are grown in special bags without pesticide or fertilizer and watered by recovered rainwaters. Two independent staircases with around wind around the trunk going from branch to branch. They provide access to the Aeron Lunch platform. The Ray Aerons are two giant mechanical birds 15 meters inside, they will be able to take 23 passengers for a five-minute circular flight 
47 meters above ground level with a view over the island of Nantes and the Loire River. At the end, I want to tell you some words about the economy of the, and the impact of the, in communication of this kind of project. In Liverpool, the spider operation cost 1.6 million euros, and 600,000 visitors came to see the show. Each visitor spent 10 euros in Liverpool during the show, and the direct return in local economy is about 6 million euros. And the image of the city of Liverpool takes extra value and dynamism, and we talk of Liverpool all around the world. This kind of international publicity costs more than 3 million euros if you want to do it with television and media, etc. There is no brand behind this kind of expression in public space, and media use without hesitating and relate the information at the international scale. Thank you very much for your attentions. Thank you.